Oh, he's loving it, guys. Let's see. We're gonna go in for our first kiss. He's shocked. He's our new boyfriend, guys. Oh, wait. Why did that negative? He didn't He didn't like that. <gasps> Uh-oh. We got caught. We got caught. We got caught. Hey, what is up, you guys? It's Megan, and today we are back with the 100 Baby Sims Challenge, guys. I'm so excited because I tried to stream this on Sunday, but YouTube was super broken. So now we are just going to upload a video of it. And a lot of you guys are always confused when I upload a video. Like, why didn't you put it into a stream? Well, that's because I am a full-time college student, and because of this... I don't have time to stream all the time, so I would rather have a video uploaded for you guys once you get home from school as opposed to me streaming at like 9 p.m. every night. <laughs> um, so I hope that you guys are able to understand there are still streams on the weekends, but during the weekdays, I just prefer to upload videos. And it's good because new viewers who come to view the channel, they get to, you know, have a taste of just how I record, how I edit, and, you know, how my basic everyday videos look as opposed to just streaming. So guys, we're going to jump right into it. There are a few things that I wanted to do with today's episode. For example, I wanted Luna to start to gain the rocket science skill. I thought that that would be really cool for her while she is raising her vampire and alien child. You are being so noisy, Aaliyah. Stop that. Cut that out. <laughs> so we need to make sure that these babies are well taken care of, bounce them, change their diapers. And guys, there have been new updates to the toddler or to the 100 baby challenge rule. And what I learned is you are able to, like age of toddlers after they get one skill up to level three so we will literally be able to work on aging up this is autumn after she gets to level three of a skill we aren't probably going to do that today though she's fine just the way that she is oh no this is broken come over here and repair this and then mop this up please and thank you um so i'm gonna use the little the boys i said the little boys the boys to help me with all the chores and stuff these are actually alien children if you guys didn't know right now we have 22 out of 20 or out of 100 babies born um but they don't actually count as babies until they are like in the actual like and i hope that you guys agree let's just go over here and type in rocket I'm getting our rocket so signed this skill, rocket is five thousand dollars and so then it's an additional one thousand dollars to start building it so we definitely have the money for it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start building this and um, while all the kids are asleep and while they're just doing what they need to do i also read in the rules that you don't actually need to be all the way up to the full a student you can just be um like an a student you don't have to be all the way up to the top of an a student to age up a kid so i feel like this challenge is gonna start to go just a slightly faster just a little bit faster we're gonna just try to work a little bit harder so if you guys are okay with the changes of the rules please let me know down below um let me know if you guys think it's totally fine if i age up toddlers after they have three skill points and if it's cool if i age up children and teenagers once they are a students not once they are at the top of the a students i feel like that would be super helpful to finishing the goal why is this dirty okay so he's taking care of this we can scavenge scavenge this for parts and once we get those parts we can throw away the scrap for a little bit more money thank you so much how very helpful of you and oh look did we just read no we're doing our homework on her bed Morgan, why are we doing our homework on Autumn's bed while she's trying to get some beauty sleep? That doesn't make any sense to me. But her um, needs are looking very good. Autumn, she needs to eat and she needs to sleep. But she is probably better off doing her homework right now. Sleep and shower and eat. So you are scavenging for parts right now, which is good. Because I think maybe he's a collector. Or that's like one of his traits, maybe. No, it's not. <laughs> my bad I don't know my children at all so basically we are gonna come up here we are going to have you start taking care of yourself like you probably need to eat and then take a shower so that's what we're gonna have him do he needs to go to sleep and then once you are done with your homework you can also work on going um to sleep and doing your homework what are you what are you doing oh well, he's feeling super shocked <laughs> why are you sad had a nightmare oh no okay so you can come right here and you can help. You could teach her to talk, maybe talk about her day. Um, give her a bubble bath. The teenagers, they have such girly voices. Let's see if we can listen to this. I don't know why their voices are so feminine, but they are. Listen. No, where are you taking her? Upstairs? Okay, that's fine. We'll listen to them at, at a different part of time. Just a different portion of time. How is the rocket building going, Luna? Is it going great? Is it going swimmingly? Right now we've just had two babies, so I'm not totally ready to get pregnant. Startled by ghost. Oh, 
Jeez, I guess Aaliyah scared us. I'm not ready to get pregnant again yet because we still have two babies um, in the house. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, we actually have room for one more baby in the household, but I don't know if I could handle one at this point. Um, Maybe that's something that we could do in today's episode is start to find a new man. The last guy was Caleb, so maybe we can scroll down our list of people that we know. For example, we know Charlie. Um, that's a relative. A lot of these people are relatives to us, I think. Let's pull this up. <laughs> see, D'Angelo, he's an adult, and we have not had a baby with him. We can kind of see, like, Layton, for example. So, Michael... He's a young adult. Um, let's send him a text and let's send him a happy text and we can invite him to hang out on the current lot and see if he'd be willing to help us move our baby challenge along a little bit, which would be good because, you know, we've been playing this for a year now, guys. The anniversary of the 100 baby sim challenge is coming up. We've almost been playing this for a year and we are only to level two of this skill. Is that not ridiculous? Or level, <laughs> level two. We're only in our second generation. We only have 22 babies. Um, so yeah, it's gonna take quite a while before we get anything done. Why are we feeling so tense? We're still trying to talk to our baby sister? Listen, this is so awkward. This is so awkward. Why is she sad? Well, we do have a baby crying in here. Probably a little bit hungry, so let's have you go ahead and bottle feed. It doesn't look like it needs a diaper change, but this one probably needs to be bottle fed too. Just in case, you know, they get hungry, but maybe he's not crying like he should be. So that's good. So we're at level two of the rocket building skill now, or the rocket science skill, which is already insane to already, like, kind of know that much about rocket science. Whenever you just barely started out with the skill. Oh, good. We got our royalty reports. Now let's start texting. Let's start messaging some guys. We have them in our phone, right? Yes. Let's just school. No, why would I want to ditch school with you? You're a kid. And I'm an adult. That's so weird and so gross. I do not condone that. Why aren't we chat, send text, send happy text? Are we stuck maybe? We need to reset maybe? Okay, yeah, we just had to reset the sim. Send text, send happy text, invite to hang out on current lot. So we're chatting it up a little bit with Michael. We're gonna see if we can maybe get him to come hang out with us over here at this lot. Just a little bit, maybe start working on our next baby. That's always fun, I agree, Luna, it's a great day. Let's go out and enjoy the day. Okay. I mean, the kids were left with um, a very responsible teenager, so they're all taking care of themselves. We're gonna funny introduction. We're gonna start flirting with this guy, because I think we're still a young adult, if I'm not mistaken. Let me check. Yes, we're gonna be a real adult in 12 days, so we're gonna get to know him, propose a crazy scheme, tell him a believable story. We're already standing really close to him um, for just now getting to know him. So let's discuss our interests. He's active. Share brilliant ideas, um, reveal brilliant invention, just stuff like that, because we are a genius. So we're gonna fast forward this a little bit. Why is this an awkward encounter? Casual discussion, good, okay. Ooh, feeling a little bit flirty. Maybe let's sexy pose and see how he reacts. Sexy pose maybe, yeah? Let's see. Oh, first we're gonna show him a crazy invention that we actually didn't make. He seems excited about it though, so that's good. Uh-huh. 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 Uh -huh. Are you into us? Oh, he is. Kiss hands. Um, flirt. Exchange numbers. I can't get you off of my mind lately. Want to go on a date? Who is this? Aaron? What? Look at that. We got a text from somebody asking us on a date, this guy. Okay, so we've already had a kid with him, I think. We have multiple love lives. We're going to offer him a rose. First kiss already, because we're feeling that confident, guys. We're feeling so confident with him. Oh, he's loving the phone number exchange. Does he know that we have, like, six kids at home? Probably not. Oh, he's loving it, guys. Let's see. We're going to go in for our first kiss. He's shocked. He's our new boyfriend, guys. Oh, wait. Why did that negative? He didn't He didn't like that. <gasps> Uh-oh. We got caught. We got caught! Copa. We got caught! Oh no! Okay. Wait, where did the guy go that we were just talking to? Whoa, did he just disappear? We got caught, guys. Um, Travel, let's just go back to the safety of my house. Hopefully this guy, like, I'm sorry. I, I obviously didn't mean to cause a, cause a ruckus. Maybe it's just probably safer 
to have relations back in our at our house. Like, yeah, there's kids and babies and stuff here, and maybe he won't feel so comfortable, but it's better than making a lot of enemies because we're flirting and seeing other people. That's just awkward. Okay, we're back. We're back. We're having a good time. Whisper seductively, recite romance poem, um, suave kiss, compliment appearance. Ask if single, he should definitely be single because if he's gotten this far with me and he's not single, that'd be super awkward. Blow a kiss. Try for a baby. Alrighty, we're gonna go try for a baby with this guy. I'm starving, wanna grab lunch? Nina, Kang, no thank you. Look at how many like people we have like the love skill with. Just all the people that we've, you know, used to have babies with. All right, yeah. let's see what he says to Boy. the proposal of trying for a baby. We look very persuasive, don't we? <laughs> oh, they're excited. Yes, okay, awesome. We're gonna head up upstairs maybe? Why is Morgan upset? Why is she angry? Is she doing okay? Her needs are okay. She's just unwanted sibling from finding a new sibling. She'll be okay. Look at this, little family's down here. Hey guys, we're just gonna go upstairs. No need to follow. No need to see what's up. You know, we're just having our like 20 millionth woohoo. So we're trying for another baby. We gotta do this fast though, because we're gonna have to see if we've actually gotten pregnant. Dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Look at all these really happy moodlets. Um, totally digging me from exchanging numbers, hot and heavy from socialization, tittling banter. Um, new baby. It's boosting her flirty, which is weird. Um, our first kiss is also boosting her flirty and happy. Nicely decorated it is. And they're growing up from having a birthday party. Having a birthday party makes Luna feel very flirty, I guess. That's kind of awkward. And I like how we have this nightlight just above the bed here. Uh oh. Finish up so this guy doesn't walk in. Oh, he's just gonna go to the computer. Okay, good. I feel bad. I don't actually know these two Sims names. I'm not as in love with them as I am with the babies and Morgan. Um, we have Daniel, Kyle, Autumn, and Morgan. So it's time, guys. It's time to take the pregnancy test. Um, take the pregnancy test. Let's see. Before we lose all this flirtiness. Let's see. Oh, and we even have to use the restroom. This is perfect. Is she gonna celebrate? Uh-oh. No celebration. Is she done? <gasps> she is eating for two. Congratulations, Luna. You are pregnant again. You can leave now. Um, share big news. Hi, I'm pregnant. We did it. He's excited. I wish that I've seen I wish that I've seen like a sim or something like be upset Like I've never seen a sim take the news poorly. They've always ever been just really excited about it <laughs> So I think that that's pretty funny um, Rock um, rock. We're gonna talk to our little babies make them love us make silly faces. Maybe Talk talk just work on that a little bit Well all the guys they need to work on their homework some because I don't listen 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 they talk like girls. Why do they talk like girls? They're boys. I don't know why that's their... Um, look. Practicing. Listen. It's just so weird. It's so weird to me. Why do they sound like girls? I don't get it. But we're gonna take care of our babies. We're pregnant again. We're ready to have another kid. Things are moving, guys. Things are moving up for us. Now let's see what we could do to help everybody move forward in life. She did her homework, so she's good. We need to throw some of these plates away, and I think we also probably need to start making more food for everybody. Um, I'm not sure if I want Luna to work on her rocket sign skill or her writing skill. I think that the writing skill will yield more money in the future, so I'll probably have her start writing a book just a little bit after this. Everybody's in a really good mood already, so I just kind of have to stay on top of that and make sure that that doesn't slip. Why can I not pick this out of my pocket? I don't know. Open this. Let's grab some of this yogurt. Eat yogurt. And then that should help tide over Morgan. I mean, Autumn, just a little bit. And how's everybody else feeling? You need to go to sleep. So you can go to sleep. The kids are just being kids, I guess. They don't really have many needs. And then we can send the boys to sleep, too, because they are a little bit tired. They don't have a lot that they need to finish up or get done. So we are going to come over here and hey, you. I don't think that's a good place to see yogurt. And that was supposed to be Autumn's yogurt. Why are you eating Autumn's uh, yogurt? About oh no, that was Autumn's yogurt. And now she has nothing to eat. So we are gonna need to take Luna. Instead of doing this, we're gonna have to come upstairs. We're gonna have to make, um, cook. 
just maybe like a party size of frank and beans fish tacos gross eggs and toast fine we'll make a party size of fish or of eggs and toast not i almost said fish and toast that sounds really gross too and then we can actually start to feed autumn because she is about to get a little bit hungry and let's see what our cooking skill is at. I think our skills are doing pretty good. Um, yes, our cooking skill is almost level 7. Our writing skill is almost level 6. So that's going to start to turn out some very nice writings soon. Books, I mean. Um, and our painting skill is almost level 5. So really soon, everybody's going to start to kind of make their way. Come up here, Autumn. Let's grab a serving of food. I know you can do it. I think that maybe you can climb up the stairs, but I'm not completely sure. Let's see. I think her movement skills there. I guess it's not. How is she ever going to learn if we don't make her learn? We just pick her up and carry her around. Take me to the eggs and toast. Take her to the eggs and toast. Take her to the eggs and toast. Eggs and toast. Eggs and toast. Why are we keep on trying to move her? Put down. Don't touch her. Come sit over here, I guess. Stop touching her. Can she come up here? I probably need to bring the food down to her, I guess. Because I guess she really doesn't have her skill all the way up to where she can start walking. Alright, here you go. Grab a serving of this. Oh, she's so cranky. She's like, forget you, mom. Thanks for nothing. Thanks for literally not helping me up. And why is this here? I cannot get that to go away. Okay. So, guys. Let's see what we can do. We're feeling pretty stinky, so we need to eat. Let's go upstairs and grab some food. Let's take a shower. What? We're going to grill burgers? And why do we want to take a bath? Like, why is that our automated, like, form of wanting to bathe? We're just going to walk it, get, get walked in on and get embarrassed. Those words did not come out of my mouth as I should have. <laughs> oh, we fell asleep in the bathtub. Okay, I guess I can't complain. If it all works, if it all helps out, it all helps out, right? There, we're feeling very clean now, so let's go upstairs. Um, and eat the serving, eat these leftovers. I don't know whose these are, but we're going to eat them. Because I really want us to start working on our writing skill just a little bit in today's episode. Great. Let's see. Cook. We'll probably need to make more food. Maybe some a party size of mac and cheese. Because we've already eaten a lot of servings of the eggs and toast. So I think it's probably smart to just get something else in there. Oh, yeah. And I was going to buy the boys a treadmill because they look like they're pretty unhealthy. <laughs> They look like they're unhealthy. I'm just going to be honest. How did he acquire the fitness skill? What are they doing? Are they watching sports? They're watching TV and they're acquiring the fitness skill? Why? They aren't doing anything. Exercise, do push-ups. Can they both exercise? Do push-ups. Oh, they're both feeling super energized, I guess, from having some a top-notch coffee buzz. What are you doing? No, you don't need to go to sleep. Just grab some food first so that you don't starve in your sleep. We can put the rest in here. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. Eat, eat your food. Oh, we're feeling a little sick from pregnancy. Oh, God, there's a vampire here, guys. There's a vampire here. Don't, don't, don't freak out. Okay, so we are going to come over and feed our baby. Um, he is part vampire, so we need to make sure that we do that. Good thing he's not going to require blood. Oh, it's almost Daniel's birthday and it's almost Kyle's birthday. Daniel's very hungry. Hey, what are we doing? We need to feed him. Feed, bottle feed. Get over there. There we go. That's taken care of. We're going to use the restroom. And now you're hungry. Feed, bottle feed. Morgan's got to do her thing and try to interact with him first and be super annoying. Morgan, get away. Go here. Just get away from the baby. If you could do that, if you could just get away from the baby, that'd be fantastic. Oh god, now they're both crying. They're both, like, waking each other up. Feed, breastfeed. Like, stop taking care of yourself so much. We have some babies that need help. There we go. What do you need? I guess you need a rock. Make silly face. Shush. Shush. Stop crying. I shouldn't shush the baby. Why is he crying so much? I can't tell what he needs. Okay, they're quiet. They're quiet, guys. Nope. Who's crying? Now you're crying. Bounce. Make silly face. Rock. You, like, I just fed them. So I know that they probably don't need feeding again. 
The... No. Okay. There. The babies are not crying anymore, but we are exhausted, so we definitely need to head up and go to sleep. Because I think almost everybody is asleep except... Everybody is asleep except for my sim, Luna. Okay, Luna. Time for bed. Okay, guys. Luna is awake and ready for the day. Of course, we already have another little baby crying. We're gonna change diaper. We're gonna feed. Bottle feed. Feed. Bottle feed the babies in the morning. Change his diaper. Just in case he needs it. The baby crying noise, it gets to me. I'm not gonna lie, it gets to me. Morgan, I need you to stop messing with the babies. Come over here and wash your hands or something. Stop messing with the babies, because I need to actually take care of them, and I need you to not distract me. So we're feeding one of them. This one is Daniel, and this one is Kyle. I'm gonna have to try really hard to remember those names. We're gonna change his diaper, and then we're gonna immediately start feeding this baby. And then we can change his diaper, even though his diaper is not actually dirty. Open this up. Grab a serving of this. And then maybe, just maybe, we can go upstairs and get some writing done. Because we do have quite a lot of stuff that we need to do. Now let's see. Ugh, gross. Somebody left a bowl of yogurt here. <laughs> the maid will come clean that up. So we're going to go here. We're going to write. We're going to write a genre book we can do a non-fiction which i think is probably the next step of the stuff that we need to get done throw that away oh, are we taking our food up there to eat and write that's nice i like that that we can do both at the same time and there's a baby already crying again why are you crying this baby is so fussy is it not cuddle all right stop doing what we're doing Okay, and Morgan, I mean, Autumn is down here. She's learning her skills. It looks like she needs to use the restroom. I don't know if she can use the restroom by herself yet. Go potty. She can't because she's an independent baby. So we're going to have her go to the potty. She needs to eat and she also needs a bath. But right now we need to make sure that Luna is taking care of the children because they always seem to need constant care all the time. They're so whiny and I don't know why. There. Use the restroom, and then we're going to go up and we're going to continue to write our new book that we're trying really hard to get done. <laughs> write, resume writing, that. What broke? Did the computer just break? While I was about to use it? Write, resume writing, the book. And we are interrupted. We are intercepted by our baby. Oh no, our baby's gonna watch us? What are we doing? Is she gonna come up and watch us? That's fine. Um, I actually would like you, to, if you wrote, if you contributed, because we can't afford a lot of things right now and we need you to start working on some of your tasks. Why can't I write this book? Is it because there's food rendered into our thing? Right? Resume writing? Like, I literally cannot write. <laughs> write, resume writing. Is it because the, there was eggs and toast on the keyboard? Probably. Now I just have to keep an eye on all of this stuff down here and make sure that nobody um, gets in trouble with their stuff. Or you know what I mean? Like just nobody's feeling like they need a lot of help. Because <laughs> let's face it, everybody needs a lot of help. We're going to put this eggs and toast out. Come grab a serving of this so we don't bother mom. So that she can at least try to make some money for the household. Because that is something that we are struggling to do right now. We only have $3,600, which is a lot, but it's also not. Whenever you think about it, we could be making so much money. I just got an achievement, but it didn't pop up to what it actually was. That's that's awkward. Oh, no. I think... Did you just put that away? I hope so. I hope that you didn't just throw that away. Let's make sure that all the kids are working very hard in their classes. We're going to study hard with all of them. Because that's the only way that we're going to we're gonna do good in class. I mean, yeah. Get those, get those grade <laughs> promotions, get those report cards all up to A's, you know? How's the book going? Are we too busy talking to our daughter to write the book? Like, I love her, but, like, we gotta make money. We have to submit some of these royalties. We gotta really attempt to grow with this. And we have a baby crying. Can we have some of the brothers help out with this? Maybe bottle feed? Change diaper, rock, make silly face. I know that you're really tired, but if you could just assist with this. Morgan, get out of the way! 
It literally makes me so angry when the kids get in the way. Is he gonna feed her? Feed him? No, we're gonna rock and stuff. Put him down. Bottle feed. Um. Change diaper. Oh, you're stinky. You need to take a shower. Take a shower right now. And then, okay, I think that the baby is starting to get quiet. There we go. Taken care of. Now you guys can definitely take care of some of your needs. Like, go have fun. You can eat. You need to take a shower. You need to have fun. And then you need to eat. You need to have fun. I don't know what is considered fun to you. The dollhouse is considered fun to you. Uh, maybe the blocks are also considered fun. I don't know. You can work on your imagination. You need to take a shower. So there we go. Everybody has certain needs. Actually, you could take this shower. because Showers are faster. And there. Now everybody is set to kind of work on their skills. We are three-fourths of the way done with this book, which I'm so happy about because it's taking us forever to start to get to write it. Start getting to write it. A lot of the words I say that come out of my mouth, I feel like don't make sense. They make sense in my head. And then when they come out, it's just like, that's not right. That's not proper phrasing. Michael Smith is calling. Hey, let's go on a date. No, thanks. I'm pregnant now and I don't need you anymore. <laughs> what just happened? We we were almost done with this book and then all of a sudden it... What just happened? Did we finish it? Oh, we finished it. Okay. So let's start another book then immediately. Like, I know we're not having any fun, but the more that we get this done, the better. Like, if we just really start to work on the skill. We have a baby in danger. Not really in danger. These babies never seem to need their diapers changed. They just need to be fed a lot. There we go. We're going to come down here. We are going to feed the baby, change the baby. And your Morgan's getting a call. Want to hang out and go to his house? No, this is not okay. Okay, like why am I having kids calling me asking me to go play hooky? And then why am I having grown adult men asking my little baby girl to come over and hang out? That is not okay. Leave me alone. <laughs> These babies are so fussy. Good thing it's almost their birthday. We are continuing to write on this book. We're feeling very energized. And look at this, guys. We're really making the progress here. Yeah, I guess you can come over. That's fine. Um, Cancel. No, I don't want to go out and leave this lot. We got stuff to do over here. Luna's bladder, her hunger, everything is down. Her fun is down. Maybe let's start having her stop writing the book. We got a pretty good progress made on it. We're going to play some incredible sports um, to get some of that fun up. Or we're going to walk down. Why? No! Why did she just take over the computer for me? The fun is the easiest to get up, I feel. Like, of course, bladder is, but, you know, fun is fun because your sims have fun. There. Use the restroom. Come down here. Open this. Grab some spaghetti. I mean, that's mac and cheese. Where's my mind, guys? Have Morgan do your homework. The boys also need to do their homework. Where is their homework? Is this your homework? Do your homework? Why do you have a whole cake in your inventory? That is so awkward. And it's like spoiled too. That's disgusting. We don't need this anymore, but you can do this homework. So everybody can sit at the table and do their homework. We can sell these parts that we don't need anymore. I guess I can't. I can sell it like this. Which is good. The babies are in a good mood. They're doing fine. We're working on Luna, making sure that she gets there. We can sell this book to a publisher, which we should do before the next um, the next stack of royalties comes in. I think that that's a good idea. Oh, we're going to take our food out there to do that. Fine. There we go. Now we have another fussy baby. Feed, bottle feed. I know that you're only supposed to change the diapers when the stink lines come, but... It's been quite a while and their diaper hasn't been getting dirty. So I don't really know what to do about that. So I'm literally just doing my best. Oh, she's so smart. She did it for me. She changed the baby's diaper. We need to have her over more often, I think. Why does this vampire always try to come over to our house? Please go away. Go away. Aren't you supposed to be doing homework? 
Why are you playing Blick Block? I should be playing Blick Block. You should be doing homework. Do homework. Like maybe move from there and do your homework so that, yeah, we can play some games. Morgan finished her homework. She's such a good girl, guys. So she's gonna use the restroom and then head to sleep. Great. Okay, and also, yes, Autumn is feeling tired, but she is getting some sleep, so that's good. Um, you need to take a shower. You are almost done with your work, though. So good, Harry. You can come over here, take a brisk shower. And you're in a good mood, too, so maybe you should just actually do your homework. We need to move this plate. Why do plates keep on trying to come over here? No, we don't want to go to the club. No, thanks. We need to do our homework like good children should. It's Daniel's birthday. Time just fly by. Flies by, doesn't it? Oh, thank gosh. It's Daniel and Kyle's birthday, guys. So we could definitely wake Luna up and come age them up. More choices. Age up. More choices. Age up. I'm excited. I'm so happy that the time has come. Alright, and this is the part we randomize. So I'm going to close my eyes. One, two, three, four, five. Angelic. Okay, I'll take that one. That's good. <gasps> Look at his skin color. He's such a pretty shade of blue. What a baby. Look at him. Oh, no. Look how cute. Oh, gosh. Oh, and he only has, like, some front teeth, guys. Every time we hold babies, our eyes close. Like, I just want a good screenshot, but our eyes always close. He's so handsome. Oh, I'm so excited, guys. All right, baby number one, down. Baby number two, let's check this one out. All right, one, two, three, four, five. We are closest to clingy, so I'm gonna take that. Kyle's pretty cute, too. They're pretty adorable babies, I must say. He's a vampire, though, I think. If my, if I, I think he is. I think he's gonna be a vampire, you guys. Oh, look at him. Look at him. Mom. Oh, he's too cute. He's too adorable for words. Adorable. He's too adorable to even say the word adorable, right? Look at that, guys. We have so many toddlers. And now we're pregnant with another baby. We just have a lot going on. We could sell these bassinets, get those out of the way. Guys, we've done it. We've aged up two more babies. Um, time does just fly by, and now we don't have to worry about them as much because next episode, Luna should be giving birth to her next baby because she is a she's in this next trimester for a while. So what I want you guys to leave a comment on is let me know if you think that I should age up kids once they have at least three of one skill. Let me know if that's something that I should do. Um, yeah, I would appreciate that so very much, but guys, I think that's a great place to end the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to slap that like button and consider subscribing for new daily Sims content. I will talk to you guys a little bit later. Thanks for coming. Bye.